Yeah, so I'm back. I uh, <clears throat> had quite a bit of brown and then um, turned it upside down because I wasn't seeing a pattern that I needed to find. So I flipped it over to see if I could find the pattern, um, if that makes any sense. But uh, that's what I'm searching for right now. Um, for example, right here, how the brown stops here and I have some going this direction and all of this gets stopped. It just visually it just stops right here. You can even see that from that angle, but anyway, if it gets stopped, then how do you continue the motion? Because you don't want anything, you don't want the, the eyes to stop in any one direction unless it's like the meaning of something. Well, if they're digging through this to find a damn meaning, then the fools, because this is just garbage, you know, it's fill in image, put together um, form, and uh, just trying to find images, and it's just kind of sketchy type stuff, fun kind of doodly things. And that's kind of what it is. It's not meant to mean anything, right? So I don't want them to kind of figure out that there's no meaning. I want them to continue to keep wrapping around this thing. So I see one right here. I could try and take the brown through here, or I could bring it down through here. So I think this looks like a better deal for me here. So I'm now working down this pattern to bring it down further. And that's kind of how I paint. Um, I try and find the pattern and the rhythm and the heart of it and try and keep that momentum moving throughout the entire painting. Um, it's a visual exercise. It's a mystery novel. It's quasi meant to be understood. You know, it's a it's its own thing. One thing I was thinking about recently is uh, jazz. Um, and jazz. That's that's what I need to do, right? How about that? Does that work a little better? All right. I got to bend over a little further, it hurts my back, but all right. So the jazz, the jazz and painting, you know, just like jazz in music, it has a set pattern. The drums, you know, the, the rhythm section, everything. Until that solo comes on top. And when that solo comes on top, that's original every time. And I think when you paint, you have to have a pattern, something that you've decided already. This is my plan. This is my pattern. This is what I'm doing. And then you have to, at some point, kind of deviate from that plan. When you have some kind of inspirational idea, you, you just play on it and go with it. You don't really worry about the consequences of it, because you know you can always fix it. You know, it's no big deal. Sometimes it's a headache, but you know, it's just part of it. And you just go with it, you know? Whatever it is, you know? You work, you weave it, and you try and figure out the, the, the best direction. And I haven't, honestly, I don't think I've even looked at this this way, which is usually un, is unusual for me. So this is a new way of looking at it for mm -hmm. me. So I see a few patterns that I'm trying to decide on what I want to do. I think there should be something like in here somewhere. 